Well, at the last time you were asked a question about when next the president will speak, uh, you said, and I quote, you cannot lead the president by the news just because you elected him. A lot of Nigerians were riled up by this <laughs> statement. Do you think that you owe Nigerians an apology, uh, or do you think that you are unfairly criticized? No, no, I don't. I stand by what I've you said. You do not what think, think you are unfairly criticized, or you, you don't think you owe them an apology? Let, let, let me make my point. Okay. I repeat what I have said. The fact that you have elected a president does not mean you lead him by the nose. No. If you will lead any president by the nose, not this president, who has a mind of his own and he will do what he thinks is fair and just and proper at any given time. Even though when it is time to speak, the president. Oh. Even though he serves at the pleasure of let Nigerians me, who speak. elected him. <laughs> Let me speak. Okay. The fact that you are going back to what I've said. The fact that you have elected a man does not mean you begin to order him around. That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. It's not done. There are presidents all over the world who have not even spoken once to their countries during this pandemic. Our president spoke three times in a month. Yet, a week after it, they are saying, come out and speak to us. Come out and speak to us. Who does that? Who speaks to his president in that way? We must respect whoever we have elected as our president. All right, um, Mr. Deshino, you've been quoted to say that the reason why we've not had frequent um, address by the president on this critical issue concerning COVID-19 has been down to style. A lot of people are still criticized that they always want to hear words of assurances from the father, the father of the nation, time and time again about the state of things and how things are being handled in terms of COVID-19. We see this as a global accepted practice whereby leaders of every country will come out to address the people time and time again. This has been sparse, few and very far between. That's pandemic started as an epidemic in Wuhan, China, till they got over it. It's not on record that the Chinese president spoke once to his country, yet they got over it. Within the space of one month, the president made three broadcasts speaking to the country. And every day, there is there are members of what is called the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19. Almost daily, they speak to the country. I think that suffices. Well, it's good that you admit that there are, it's not all perfect. And like I said initially, we must uh, oh, acknowledge could, the efforts, but they are not <laughs> translating uh, to the betterment of the everyday Nigerian. But let's talk about the response to COVID-19, uh, Mr. Deshino. Um, what do you have to say to critics who say the government has talked so much about tackling the virus, especially with non-medical interventions such as wearing of face masks and washing of hands, but they say the president has never worn a mask uh, re while receiving guests or even in public like we saw him during the prayers of Idil Fitri. Uh, does the president worry that this may be counterproductive to the message of his health authorities? No, not exactly. Not exactly. The president has his reasons for not wearing, and you just have to accept it that way. That's all I'll say. Would you like to share those reasons with us? No, no. They are private to him. But you know that any, anybody and everybody with him at any given time will wear masks. Okay. That is safe enough. 